earrings move so much when I'm dancing that I don't have to move so much. They like kind of handle it for me, but that's not why we're here. <laughs> this is the pop quiz segment of the show. Pop quiz is a featured segment brought to you by Pop-Tarts. This hand right here. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Pop quiz question numero uno. <clears throat> what martial arts superstar first appeared as a featured extra in the movie Breakin'? Think about it. Do you know? Does, any, does anyone in the room know the answer? Jackie Chan. John Glott Van Damme! Yay! <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> oh. Winner of question number one, Galen Hooks in the back. You get a Pop-Tart, what flavor do you like best, s'mores or strawberry? S'mores. Yeah! Hey! Good answer. Well done. Thank you. You're oh. welcome, <laughs> Dancer, <laughs> Dancer, not athlete. <laughs> Question number two of the pop quiz. Which electric boogaloo has a stand-in in that same scene? What's an electric boogaloo? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, let me clarify. Which of the original members of the Electric Boogaloos, not the Electric Boogaloos in the film, but the original Electric Boogaloos? Are we, there's question, there's crickets. There's crickets. I know. Who do you, wait, shh, don't say it. Okay, fine, say it, but say it in Pig Latin. Poppin' A, Pig. Yes, it's Poppin' Pete. Poppin' Pete has a stand in, he's wearing a crazy hat, and he's standing there, he looks nothing like Poppin' Pete. Please go back and watch their, they're like in the freestyle circle at the beach. He looks crazy. And Poppin' Pete is fine. I, if I do say so myself. Hi Pete, love you. What flavor? S'mores. It's a hot ticket today, the s'mores. Uh, underhand, overhand? Over top, just go for it. Boom. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's pop dust. Um, <laughs> moving right along, pop quiz question number three. Oh, this is an easy one. Pfft, who wrote this? Poppin' Pete's brother, Boogaloo Sam, created Poppin' in what city? I'd like to throw um, that to We Used to the, Dance. The Pop City. The Pop City. <laughs> pop City. Good answer. Pop, pop city. city, that's a nice effort. <laughs> I'm city. horribly disappointed I'm in you. I'm, I, I'm <laughs> pop city about that. <laughs> um, I'll give you a hint. What's this dance called? Oh, it was um, Fresno. <laughs> Yes, it was Fresno! <laughs> Poppin' was created in Fresno, yeah, yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. I thought we all knew that. Is it? We don't? Well, now you do. You have no excuse not to. What flavor? Uh, S'mores? No. Yeah. Oh. I don't, I'm not a conformer. Let me get strawberry. <gasps> <laughs> this is mixed martial arts, and he doesn't conform. Ready? Eins, zwei. Oh. Hey! <laughs> uh, all right, for more pop quiz, make sure you guys check out the website, www.morethanmovestv.com. I will have pop quiz questions on the blog as often as possible. <laughs> I kill myself. I'm Dana Wilson, and I love dance. Let's talk about it. Hey! Um, Sonia. Yeah. So now that we've been talking for like 45 <laughs> minutes, let's get let's into an back. interview. <laughs> I, I met you a long time ago, mm -hmm. but most people mm -hmm. know you best from So You Think You Can Dance, which is awesome because it means that they've seen your work, which is probably a great insight to you as a human, mm -hmm. but also could probably be a hindrance because you're preceded by your, how you appear on that show. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you a little bit about your appearance and your mm -hmm. presence on So You Think and if you think it is pretty accurate of a reflection of who you are not on the show. Um, I think that what's beautiful about commercial work is the formula. Mm -hmm. um, when they create a formula, you go in knowing, ver being very aware of what you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. right? That's not even half of me, I feel like. Ooh, You know what cool. I mean? Yes. Um, Just so you think you can Yeah, it's changed my life. I, it was one of my dreams of being on the show when I moved here. Mm -hmm. um, I, what it's done for my life is amazing. Um, it's just very difficult to get out of that idea because the mass media, the masses yeah. watch television. Yes. 
Um, and that's the first, you know, that's how I'm defined. And there's so many more layers to me, but which is, it's very interesting because it's got, it's given me so much more inspiration to, uh, uh, focus on those other elements of myself that I haven't been able to project on on the show. Right, so you know you're what I mean? nurturing the part that isn't so exposed or that's not yeah. in the spotlight. Okay, don't be offended by what I'm about no. to say. I want to talk about <laughs> your balls. Okay. Like you are a, <laughs> in your choreography, in your style, in your physical dress, in your home, you are a bold human being. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk to you about your style. It's funny. I. I've always been a very fiery, uh, uh, aggressive person, even as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, it's also funny because in the the movement that I I would I do on the show is considered to me what I learned in school in college and my training is modern dance huh. or um, physical contact modern dance. Yep. Uh, contact improvisation is how I create my pieces with no music with partners. Um, I don't dance to a constant rhythm in my in my head. I choreograph to the uh, silence first. Cool. So, but you would never think or see that. Mm -mm. And I, 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 I had a, a bit of a rough uh, uh, childhood, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very aggressive childhood. There was a lot of physical fighting and unfortunate things that happened to me as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, it, when I started training in college, I was taught by amazing uh, female professors who told me to uh, go with my instincts, and my instincts is very aggressive mm -hmm. and very choppy. It's uh, the what I call fearless as opposed to scary. Mm -hmm. I try things that I usually would second guess on my own body. Right. Does that make sense? Right. I like to push limits. I like to push the heart rate. That's the bold. That's the ball. Yeah. That's what I want to talk about. Okay. Well, there it is. <laughs> yeah. You just talked about it. Yeah. I love it, and it scares me because I want to do it justice. Oh, you know what I mean? The majesty. I love it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a big thing. Yeah. yeah, and when I die, that's what you're going to watch. I think of that often. I saw, I'm really taking it to a deep place you right away. You go there, Sonia. <laughs> I'm with I you. I saw death at a very young age, so a lot of my um, uh, uh, discipline comes from, I don't know how much time I have here. You know what I mean? A sense of urgency. Yes, there's a constant sense of urgency. It's, it's very serious for me, so when I say it, it's terrifying, it's... It's the only place I want to be, but because I want to live in it and have it be the most honest thing I can do as possible in, in, the, in the dance, uh -huh. it's terrifying. Kind of a lesser touched on part mm -hmm. of you, I think, at least publicly, is your teaching. Mm -hmm. um, and I, in my research about you, because I researched you, because I'm interviewing you right now, <laughs> um, I didn't know that you went to college, two different ones, yeah, for mm -hmm. dance. And I want to know kind of how that has molded you as a choreographer mm -hmm. and then also as a teacher. Well, I started dancing in college, so it was a bit later. A late start so I had comparison. that kind of that rush to get things done really fast. Yeah. Um, but thank God, thank God, I had amazing professors. They were amazing. I had no technical skill um, and no natural technical skill. You know what I mean? The feet, I'm the very turnout, tight. The, yeah, yeah, I didn't have that, the, the tangible stuff. Yes. But I knew it was inside of me, and I always thought I was a dancer. It was very strange. Huh. But now that I look back, I knew I was a choreographer. I never really enjoyed um, performing. Mm. I loved making dances up. I used to bring my mom downstairs and, you know, right. look what I made up. You know, and but she bought, before there's a word for that, yeah. there's, oh, I like to dance. Yeah, I, I just dance. like to dance. Yeah. So what would <laughs> yeah. you say is the most important thing um, in your class? You know, one time I was, in, I was at the edge and I was in the bathroom and someone said to this other girl, whose class are you taking? And she said, Sonia's. And the girl said, oh my God, good luck. And I remember <gasps> thinking... You were in there like... <laughs> I remember thinking, why though? Hmm. Why? Why good luck? Why am I considered the hard teacher or, or like, the, like she's why? entering a competition or yeah something. I, and and I and I asked myself that I went in my, to the class after she said that and I said okay and I'm I, I feel like I'm really good at taking myself outside of myself and looking at really what's going on mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I think it's because I demand a lot because I know that you can do it and I know that if you train this body the body that you have now times it by 10 so you're creating you're giving them 
tools, not just physical, but the emotional and the belief system behind it to create longevity. Yes. To create something that will not just last a long time, but continue to get better for a long time. I'm not trying to give you a fad that you can show out in. Mm. I'm trying to give you something to look at yourself and be honest about. Oh, I need to, I need to work on this. Mm -hmm. I actually am having trouble doing this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not trying to look to see what you, ha you know what I mean? Like what you have. What you're <laughs> good at. I don't care. I'm not concerned with it because you already have it. Right. Thank you so much for talking you're to welcome. me, Sonia. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having us in your home and sharing all of those brilliant words. And it's so important. Thank you. Hey all right, everybody, please welcome Catherine McCormick and VN performing Two She Breaks. She's broken. Waiting for a savior, hoping for someone to take her out of here, yeah. She's beaten, battered and bruised, no freedom. She's fighting to find the light of day, yeah. So she breaks down Something's gotta give She's trying to find a way out And so she breaks down Something's gotta give She's trying to find a way Catherine, you are beautiful. <laughs> Vien, your musical stylings are beautiful. Um, thank you for sharing your art with everyone. For more information about Catherine McCormick and Vien, don't forget to check out the blog and uh, check out the next episode of More Than Moves. Holla. And now we can do our duet again if you want. Give me a picture and I'll match it. Oh, yeah. I like the back attitude, though. I'll just maybe. Um, we're about to make out if you wanted to keep that going. No?